<laughs> I came to that. So I'm, I'm glad that God gives us this time together. Uh, it's a time that He wants us to grow together. It's a time that He wants to speak to our heart together. Sometimes He has to speak a little bit uh, tougher uh, than, than normal. Sometimes He can speak with a still, small voice. It depends on where our heart is with Him. Uh, so I'm just so thankful that He's not stopped talking to me. <laughs> he's still talking to me. Is He still talking to you? Amen. Amen. Uh, do you still feel his uh, tug on your heart? Do you still know uh, that you're where you need to be with God? Have you tested? No, it's good to not just drive a car and never test the oil in it. That's kind of dangerous. It's good every once in a while to check my spiritual oil levels and make sure I'm where the God wants me to be. Amen. And sometimes he's the only one that can, can check that. He's the only one that can tell me. He's the only one that can examine me. Amen. And, and show me where I'm at with him. So I'm glad he can do that. He's a great physician. So if you'd like to stand in Matthew chapter 6, I'll be much in prayer. I still don't have a whole lot. I don't know how long I'll be before you. Probably not very long. I don't feel like I don't have a whole lot, just a thimble full. But I know God wants to help us along the way. He wants to encourage us. So I read here maybe five or six verses. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 6, uh, Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when you doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy right hand know what thy left hand do not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret. Praise the Lord, which our Father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward the open. Let's pray one more time that God be able to come down and help the congregation in the only way that he can. Father in heaven, we come to you, Lord. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. We thank you for uh, this day that you've given us, God. I pray, Lord, I know that I don't have much this morning, but I pray that uh, you'd move me out of the way, and God, you'd be able to come down and pour in that oil and wine, and, and God, you'd be able to give the increase to help every one of us, Lord. I want to know, God, that I'm ready to meet you. I want to know, God, that everything inside of me is pleasing to you. Father, I pray today that if there be anybody here, Lord, on the sound of my voice, or anybody that's able to hear this, uh, Lord, if they're not where they need to be, would you put conviction upon them, God, especially me? I'm, I'm asking first for me, God, foremost, that you come down and, and show me, Lord, if there's something you're not pleased with, that I'd do things the way you'd have me to do them, God, and, and not the way that I'd want them. Lord, we give you all the praise and, and all the glory in Jesus' name. We agree together. Amen and amen. Thank you for standing for the reading of God's Word. Just a, uh, maybe a thought that God gave me, maybe just a little tough for a few minutes, but God knows what He's doing, and I begin to thank a little bit in just a different time, but I went uh, maybe to visit a man a couple, maybe about a month ago, and went back yesterday, and, and as I was coming down his driveway, I looked, and I seen a fence. I mean, it's just a, a beautiful fence, maybe like a split rail fence, and it looked so good. I thought, man, uh, that probably cost a whole lot of money. I tell you, my scriptures, my, 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 my sermons come from from different places, but I began to look at that fence, and I thought, man, that looks awful pretty. That, that looked good in front of a house, and as I began to look at it, and God spoke to me and said, look real close at this fence. Amen. It's just for looks. Amen. It didn't go but about 50 yards. And, and then it was the end of it just for looks at the front of his house. It, it wouldn't keep a sheep in. It wouldn't keep a goat in. It wouldn't keep a cow in. Friend, it just for looks. It, it really wasn't good for nothing. Amen. And, and God began to speak to my heart and he said, oh, there's a whole lot of people trying to serve me. They just like that fence. He said, they ain't good for nothing. Praise God. They're just for looks. They're just for show. They really got no countenance in them. Don't really have no power in them. I thought, oh Lord, begin to examine my heart friend. I'd like to know that I'm not just for show. I'd like to know that I don't put my shirt on just so somebody can look and say he's a preacher. I'd like to know that I'm a real Christian, wouldn't you? I'd like to know that God's called me and I'm doing exactly what he'd want me to do. I don't want to be like that fence, friend. When I looked at it, I thought, my, I'd like to have one of them at my house. It looks so good, but it couldn't hold nothing in, friend. It ain't good for nothing. What good is a fence half built? Praise the Lord. What good is a fence? What good is a house half built? What good is a car half put together? And what good is a Christian without all the good, friend? I'm telling you, when I begin to examine my life, I see that God's got a lot of work to do upon me. I surely don't want to be for show. 
Hey, praise the Lord. Do you know somebody's for show? I'm not telling you to judge nobody, but everybody that calls on the name of the Lord ain't really where they need to be with Him. Let's just get where we live at, friend. I'm not always where I need to be with the Lord. Everybody that comes to church is not always where they need to be with the Lord. The God spoke to my heart and said, look closely at that fence. Look at it. Somebody spent a lot of time making that look good. When you drive down the road and look at this man's house, and praise God, I guess it's a million dollar house or a million dollar property anyway, you begin to go by and drive and look, you think, man, that fence looks awful good. But the way it's made, you can't tell that it stops. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Sometimes I come to church and you can't tell the way I'm made. Sometimes I stop. Sometimes I don't go all the way around the boundary. Sometimes I don't do what I need to do, friend. Do you know anybody like that? <laughs> Praise the Lord. You live with one of them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We all live with one of them, don't we? Sometimes we find ourselves not doing what God wants us to do just for show. I show up for church just for show. I put my white shirt on just for show. I come Sunday morning just for show. But I want God to know that I love Him. Hey, I, sometimes you don't appear the way you think you appear. <laughs> I can prove it to you. Where's that picture that Scala drew of me? I, mean, praise God, I don't think I look like that, but she thought I did. <laughs> hey, how is it that you think you look? <laughs> and when God looks down on you, what does He see? Does He see a little picture that a little girl drew? Don't look nothing like you think. <laughs> praise God, you look in the mirror, you think you know what you look like, don't you? I'd say if every one of you look, make sure you didn't have a black mark. Make sure you didn't have nothing come out of your nose this morning. But what if God looks down and sees you're only half built? <laughs> you ain't been put together all the way. <laughs> you just like that beautiful fence that goes just about 50 yards and quits. I'd like to have the real goods, wouldn't you? I'm asking myself this morning, who is the real Donnie? Who is the real Carson? Who is the real Wayne? Who is the real Melissa? Who is the real you, friend? Is God pleased with you? Praise the Lord. Is He pleased with what you're doing? Is He pleased with your actions every day? Is He pleased with my actions every day? God, would you help me to get fully built and not like that fence? There's a lot of work went into that fence, I'm telling you. It wasn't one of them that they just tied to a skid steer and stretched it drive a few posts, put a few green posts in. This thing was expensive. I don't know how much it costs. I'd be afraid to ask the man. But they took a whole lot of time on that, friend. Hey, there's a lot of times I put a whole lot of time in me, but I ain't really fully building the fence. I want to be a real Christian, don't you? I want to be somebody that the world can depend on to call on heaven and fire to come down and to help somebody. Praise the Lord. Wouldn't you like to have power? I like to have the sin-killing kind of salvation that makes me want to live for the Lord, that makes me want to do things right, that makes everybody else want to see who's his God. Ain't that the way it was in the Bible? They wanted to know who their God was. Who is the God you serve? I serve the God that's well able, praise God, to deliver me out of this fiery furnace. We serve the God that can do that, friend. Does the world see that in me? Does the world see that in you? Do they know the life that you live? Who is the real you, friend? Who is the real you when nobody else is around? In that secret place when nobody else is around? You know there's a lot of secret sin in the church. Praise the Lord, Donnie. I'm preaching to myself. There's a lot of secret sin in the church. There's a lot of things nobody else knows about but me. There's a lot of things nobody else knows about but you. Ain't nobody else there, friend, but you and the devil when you're allowing yourself to do them things. When I'm allowing myself to do them things, oh, Lord God, would you search the, the corners of my heart today and make sure there ain't no secret sin. Make sure there ain't nothing in my heart that don't belong there. Who is the real you? Are you just for show? Do you just dress up for show? Do I just dress up for show? Do I just put my good shoes on for show? Or am I really a Christian? Am I really, praise God, am I really for Him? Am I really living for Him? We read this. And these were the, the church people, friend. Praise God. That always brings conviction to my heart. These were the church people. Said they'd done it just for show. They prayed out loud. This great, magnificent prayers. Most of the time, my prayers are cold as a creek rock. They prayed this big prayer so people could see them. They didn't just get here. They Praise God. I'm sure they stood up on the, the chairs and stood up out loud so everybody could see them. Just for show. Didn't really have no power of God. That's the ones that denied Jesus. That's the ones that stayed here. There's no way he can be the son of God. He's Mary's and Joseph. Joseph's son. He's a carpenter's son. He can't have no power. They was just for show. <laughs> Praise God, but I like to have the real thing, wouldn't you? I like to have the real thing and God comes down in a man's heart so when somebody comes in contact with you and you shake their hand, they feel conviction. Wouldn't you like to have that power today? I believe it's still real, Brother Jeff. I believe a man can get as close to God as he wants to. I believe a woman can get as close to God as she wants to as well. <laughs> but I'm like that fence. <laughs> Boy, it looks good. <laughs> I don't know why I built everything over here. Y'all need to move it over here. Praise God, that fence looks so good. I don't, I don't know why. How many times, how many men worked on that? How many times they worked on it to make it look good? Praise God, you know what? A lot of people work a lot harder to hide a lie than they would just to do the truth. 
a lot harder to hide a light. It's hard to hide a secret, friend. But you know what? You ain't hiding from God. God knows exactly who you are, and He knows exactly what you're here for. He knows your intentions. God knows the intentions of a man's heart, does He not? He knows if you're here for real. He knows if you're here just for a show. He knows if you really want to get closer to Him. He knows if you just come just so somebody say you come to church. God, I want you to see real Christian have a moral chapel. I hope that's what He sees. I hope you're where you need to be with the Lord. I hope I'm where I need to be with the Lord. But if I'm not, the good news is I can be. Praise God, I can be. God cared enough about these people. And Jesus cared enough about these people to use them as an example. Praise the Lord. If He used them as an example like He has everybody else, I believe they had an opportunity to come and pray. Did they not have the, the, the praise God, the, the, the prettiest robe on? They had the most expensive clothes as anybody. It was just for show, just for looks. And last night I was praying, I thought, now God, won't you let me preach a message about how beautiful heaven is and about how everybody here is exactly where you want them to be. I like to preach a message like that. But as I began to maybe get ready to go to bed, I praise the Lord. My wife will laugh at this, but I went in there and I looked and I seen a different comforter on top of the bed. And I said, what, what What'd you change your comforter for? Praise God, I'm a creature of habit. I said, what'd you change your comforter for? She said, I didn't. I just put that one on top of it because I know I like the way that looks. You know what? Just for looks, friend. It was just for show. I said, thank you, God, for telling me what you want me to preach. And that one's just for looks on top. You know what I did when I got there last night? I ripped that one off her this morning, five o'clock. I pulled that one off and got her the one I wanted to use. I didn't need that one. It was just for show. Praise God. God don't need something that's just for show. It's not entertainment. Ain't that the way the church has become? You go to different churches. I hope we don't do it here. I ain't entertaining nobody. But a lot of churches you go to, and I'm not throwing down on them. Praise God. The truth is the truth. And as my wife told me last week or last week before last, the truth hurts sometimes. A lot of churches just got entertainment, friend. And I'm not throwing on no one. I don't have no one in my mind, so please don't say that. But they think you got to be entertained. Amen? If you come to church to be entertained, you might as well go on down the road because I ain't here to entertain nobody. I'm here to tell you about the Lord, and He wants to help you today, friend. Is that the way I am most of the time? I got on that outward garment. Oh, Lord, what did He say? On the outward, uh, you're like a, a wolf. On the, in the outward, you're a sheep. The end, you're like wolves, ravenous wolves. Praise God on the inside. You're just waiting to devour somebody. Just waiting, friend. Now, that thing on the outside, actually, to be honest with you, that comforter she put on that sheet, I, I, uh, praise God, that, now what is it? A quilt. That quilt, I bought it for her. I should know. I, I bought it, didn't I? Yeah, amen. That quilt, it's prettier than the one on the bottom. Amen. It's that Jesus was not coming. He was not uh, beautiful to look upon. He was not, they, they couldn't desire him when they looked upon him. They seen him as nothing important. This world sees you as nothing important. They see that you ain't got nothing to give them. Friend, but I'll tell you one thing. When they get in trouble, you know what they'll do? They'll call on you. When they get into a bad place, they'll call on you. They know your God is real, friend. They just don't want nothing to do with it. But if you're just for show, they know that. If you still allow yourself to say a bunch of dirty jokes, I talked to a man this week. He said, you know, there's a lot of people and they, 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 they sit in the church and, and he's been to church with for a long, lot longer than I have. He said, I've been to church with a lot of people and been in church with them for 20 years. And he said, then you find out they've been doing those things they shouldn't have been doing. It comes out what they've been doing for 10 or 12 years. I hope there's nobody in here doing that. I hope there's nobody in here doing something in secret that God wouldn't be pleased with, especially not me. God help me. I hope there's nobody doing that, just waiting for everybody to be away so you can get in that secret closet, so you can get in there and worship the devil. That's all it is, friend. I'm telling you, God wants to be with you today, and he don't want it to be a show. He don't want to be a show. It's too much entertainment, too much entertainment in the church world. Praise God, the TV channels is full of them. If you look at that, they're full of entertainment. Churches ain't really got no power of God. They tell you you can do anything you want to and go to heaven. And pray, I'm afraid of that man on Judgment Day. I'm afraid of that man on Judgment Day. There's no way, praise God, that he'll be able to go to heaven. Just living any way he wants to. Just going and sleeping around any way he wants to do. And getting drunk half the night and going back and preaching. Ain't no way that man's going to heaven. I don't want to be for show, friend. I'm glad Jesus wasn't just for show, ain't you? I'm glad he was the real Jesus. It was funny. I was talking to my dad the other day. I hadn't thought about it. But somebody introduced him and they said, yeah, this is the real Donnie. <laughs> Praise God, he's older than I am. Well, this is the real Donnie. I guess he's older than all of us. And my, my dad said, yeah, they introduced me and said, I was the real Donnie. I said, well, I guess you are. You came before I did. I'm telling you, friend, I'm glad he's the real Jesus, ain't you? I'm glad we don't need to look for another, as John said. Should we look for another? Praise the Lord. He's a real Jesus, is he not? He wasn't just for show. Praise God. He didn't do something so somebody else was watching him. He didn't go to somebody's house so everybody else would watch him. He went so he could be about his father's business. Are you real today, friend? We got a world that's so fake. 
I know it's been said, but it's, it's on all, all different denominations, all different, praise God, uh, uh, political views. It doesn't matter. There's a fakeness everywhere. There, there's a fake facade everywhere. Don't matter where you're at. There's corruption everywhere. And there's a lot of fake going on. There's a lot of fake sitting in the church house. Praise God, I deal with it from time to time. When I smile, I really don't feel like smiling. But God says, smile anyway. There's times I preach, I don't feel like preaching. God said, preach anyway. Hey, you know what? There's a lot of fakeness going on. But I believe we can be real, don't you? I believe God can make a man be real. I'd like to be a real man, wouldn't you? I preached a message like that one time. I'd like to be a real man, and I'd like to have some real women in this church, wouldn't you? Somebody to get on their knees and beg God to help. Somebody to call on heaven for their lost loved ones. Somebody to push a plate of food back and say, God, would you save them? Would you put conviction on their heart so they won't do this no longer? God, would you help? Hey, my, are you real today? Who is the real you? Are you just a show? Am I just a show? Praise God. Help us. Lord, help us. You say, you ran awful hard today. I'm praying, I'm preaching to me too. God's seen a weakness in me and he wanted me to preach it to you. And I'm sure to help you just the same. Do you get fake sometimes? I, oh, Lord, this burns me up sometimes. I, I call somebody and talk to them uh, uh, on my professional job. This is how you got to do it, I guess. You, you answer the phone like you just, you know, you're the happiest person on the, on the planet. Hey, how are you? I'm so glad you called. You talk to them about three minutes, you say bye, and they don't even say bye, and they hang the phone. <laughs> that was the real them. That was, that was the real them, amen? I'm telling you, it'd be good if you talk to them all the way to the end and say, I hope you have a good day, and hang the phone up easy. <laughs> You've done that before. <laughs> You've called the doctor, and they'd be real easy to you and talk to you real fine, and you get ready to tell them, I hope you have a good day, they done hung up on you. That's the real them. I praise God, I don't want the real me to be like that. I'd like to care for somebody, wouldn't you? On the other end of that line, there may be somebody needing to hear from heaven. I don't care where they work at or what they're dealing with. <laughs> It'd be good to tell them about the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'd love to have you. Okay, bye. Click. They already hung up. <laughs> That's the real you. <laughs> I've seen what the real person has. The voice changed just like that. You've heard it before. Hope some of you professional women, hopefully you're not like that. <laughs> hope somebody calls you out if you are. You professional men, I hope somebody calls you out if you are. And they hang up. <laughs> and That was the real them. They didn't really want to talk to you. They just waiting for you to help them, give them a little bit of money on something. <laughs> they don't care nothing about you. I want to be real today, don't you? Praise God. If you meet me tomorrow, I want to be the same man I am today. God help me there. If you meet me on Friday, I want to be the same man. I want to have confidence in God that day, don't you? Are we just a show? Is Memorial Chapel just a show? If somebody was to come here, would they say, oh, it's just a big show there. (laughs) Just a big show. Some don't talk to others. They think they're better than others. I've been places like that before. They think they're better than others. I think somebody like that needs to get saved, amen? We're all dirt going back to the dirt. (laughs) From the dust you came, from the dust you shall return. Are you real today? Are you really real? Who is the real you, friend? I've, I've hid a lot of things in my life before. I thought, felt like I was pretty good at it. But there's always somebody knew what I was hiding. There's always somebody knew I was hiding something. You say, you talking to me? I'm talking to everybody, especially me. I'm talking to me today. Who is the real you? Are you just a show? Do you really want to live for the Lord? Are you come to church to talk to one another? You come to church to spread gossip? What do you come to church for? Do we come to love Christ? Do we come to love His ways? I'll tell you what happens. When the Spirit of God comes down, You'll find out who's real or not. You'll find out who's real. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You'll find out. <laughs> and I won't tell you this, and I don't want to scare nobody or nothing like that. But I want you to know your pastor talks. I mean, God talks to your pastor. God shows you, pastor, when I pray for you, <laughs> when I begin to pray for you, I, I throw my opinion out the door. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. When I pray for you individually, God begins to show me. God begins to show me if you've got something going on you need help with. God begins to show me when you get cold. God begins to show me when you're not reading your Bible, when you're not praying like you need to, when you don't care about nobody, when you're talking about somebody else. God sees that, and He begins to put it on my shoulders. <laughs> and then i got to deal with it. <laughs> you say, I wouldn't do anything to you. Hey, praise God, you are. You are. You're putting it on my shoulders. <laughs> when I see that, He puts it on my shoulders, friend. And then I've got to deal with it. And then I've got to deal with your coldness. So you got to deal with my coldness. Don't you know if I come up here and I hadn't read my Bible all week and I hadn't prayed any, you'd know it. You'd say, he was off today. He really, he didn't have it. He ain't been praying this week. Don't you know I can feel the same thing? Don't you know God can feel the same thing? When you pick your Bible up once a week, God wants a real Christian. I'm not throwing down on you. I want us to make heaven, friend. I want us to make heaven. Some people, they don't want to make it. It don't matter if Jesus Christ himself came to this church. If Jesus Christ came to every church down this holler, they'd still be people who wouldn't, wouldn't receive it. They wouldn't receive it. Praise God. They don't want to be real. They really don't want the goods, friend. It costs you a little bit of something. It's going to cost you some of your time. I wrestle with that more than anybody, I'm sure, at this church. I wrestle, I think, now, Lord, I deserve to have a couple hours to myself today. 
And I began to think about it, and I thought, no, Donnie, you shouldn't have thought that. You need to be about helping somebody else. You need to take time to go help somebody. But my flesh says, now, Donnie, surely you can have three or four hours to yourself today. I'm sure you deal with that. I've worked all week. Praise God, work six days a week, five days a week, 12 hours a day. I ought to be able to have my own time. That's what the devil tells you. That's what the devil tells you. The devil tells you, don't come back tonight. The devil tells you, you don't need to come back tonight. Don't even think about it. They don't even have church on Sunday night there. That's what the devil tells you. The devil tells you we don't have church on Wednesday night. He'd love to tell you that. But God wants to see somebody that's real. He wants to see who you really are. Who are you? Who, who really are you? Are you believing on the Lord? If you'll come to the music, please. I'm about through. Who's the real you that nobody knows but you? Do you love the Lord? Or are you just for show? Oh, Lord, help me here. Help me not to be for show. Sometimes I go to church and all I got is a show because I ain't got the real thing. I didn't read like I needed to that week. I didn't pray. I told you what I, when I look at this cross every time, you want to know why he does that? Because I look at this cross and say, Lord, I should have read more. I should have prayed more. I should have sought your face more. I should have spent more time with you. But when I get home, Lord, I'll read all week long. After a message like this, you may say, I'm going to read two hours a day. And Monday, you might read two hours. <laughs> By Thursday, you'd be lucky to pick the book up. That's how the devil works. I know that. I live in the same world you live in. I'm a weak man just like the rest of you all. God wants to see somebody that's real. He wants to see somebody that's steadfast, unmovable in their faith, as I read to you earlier. He wants to see somebody that's got their made-up mind that we want to make heaven. This is not a show. I don't have an attendance sheet here, praise God. I don't write down when you come to church so we can give it to the Lord at the end of the day. He wants to see that you got your mind on Him. Are you real today? As we stand, she begins to play. Every head bowed, every eye closed as you stand. Are you this for show? I'm going to remind you, that fence looked awful good. If I took you there, you'd probably say, I'd like one of them. But if you followed it down to the end, amen, you'd find it's open-ended. Is your relationship open-ended? Is your relationship open-ended? Just like that fence, you fit the part good. You've even got a church car. Got your church clothes. Got your church shoes. Got your church smile. Got your church handshake. But it's really all fake. Ain't nothing real to it. God sees that. I've been right there, friend. I can only preach something to you when I've been there. You say, how long ago? Not that long ago. Not that long ago. It's easy to get like that. It's easy to get to a place where you just get tired and you just go through the motions. Just a form or a fashion, just go through the motions. Don't have your mind on heaven. Won't even close your eyes when it's time to pray. Keep your eyes open. Don't mean nothing to you no more. I'm afraid of that, friend. I'm afraid of that. Don't let the devil get you to that state. Only fooling yourself. Only fooling yourself. I've been like that before. I thought, Mom and Daddy ain't got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I've outsmarted them. You can't outsmart the Lord. You're breaking his heart. You're breaking his heart all you're doing, but you're not outsmarting him. So I was praying last night. He said, they're only fooling yourself. Donnie, you are only fooling yourself if you think you're going to get cold and I don't see it. God sees our heart. He knows our intentions. Afar off, he knows these things and it breaks his heart. He sees the show. He sees the entertainment. If there's something that you really know about, if somebody tries to come up to you and buffalo you on how that works, you're going to be able to see right through it. You're going to know that they ain't got... If I tried to tell you how to build a house, you'd know straight off, I don't know how to build a house. I'm not a builder. So there's no sense in me trying to act like I know how to build one. God looks down on that too. He knows what a true relationship is with Him. He's bidding you this morning, my friend. I'm not saying this is your fault. Things happen so much. Throughout the week, things happened to us. We had good intentions Friday and Saturday. Prayer was off almost both days, which kind of messed up our intentions. These things happen, friend. I'm going to be honest with you. I know that. God just wants me to ask you, are you just for show or are you real? Are you just for show? Anybody like come pray? Anybody like come pray today? I'm not keeping score. I'm not writing it down. I don't, I don't know why you're praying. It's none of my business. I want you to know this altar is open. There are people in your family that are dying and going to hell. 
They're dying and going to hell. God wants to see that you're serious about this. You're real. You're really real. You're not a show. You're not a fake Christian. My, fake people are hard to deal with, ain't they? God deals with the same thing so many times. I'm so fake before Him. But when He starts to squeeze my heart, early yesterday morning, way before daylight, riding down the road, I surely didn't deserve it. I've been cold. Ain't felt the Lord like I want to. Cumbered about by many things. But He began to come down in my little truck and to squeeze my heart. I thought, oh Lord, this is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting to feel that tug one more time. To know that you're still real, God, and you hadn't left me. I know I turned fake on you many times. I know I'm just a show. I know, God, I could come here blindfolded, I think, and probably perform a service. I know I couldn't preach like that, but don't even have to think about it if this comes out. But, God, I want to be real. I don't want to be fake. Does anybody like to come pray? Maybe God's examined your heart. He's found something he doesn't like. You found something you're ashamed of. I'm going to pray before anybody, I'll tell you that. I need help from the Lord. I need my, 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 my faith to stir it up. I need my encouragement to stir it up. Anybody like to come pray? Anybody like to raise their hand, put it right back down, say, Preacher, I need the Lord to help me. Yes. I need the Lord to help me. I'm not where I need to be with Him. I know I'm saved. I, I'm just not where I need to be with Him. I need to grow some more. Yes, yes, yes. Thank God for that. God loves that. I'm not where I need to be with you, Lord. I know I've gotten a little cold. Things have just come in our home. And, and there's just so much going on, Lord. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. It's good to say you're sorry. I say it to him a lot. Praise God. Yes, he sees that hand. He sees that hand. And anybody else like to put it up, put it right back down. You're not lifting it to me. Praise God. You follow me very long. Yes, you'll find out I'm a man full of faults. I'm just a one voice crying in the wilderness saying, repent. Turn away from that. Don't be fake no more. God don't want fakeness. He wants somebody that's real today. Who is the real you, my friend? If God was to draw a picture, would it look like the one Scarlett drew of me? Or would it look just the way you think you look? <laughs> God's trying to help you. Anybody else, I'm about through. Give you time. Anybody else like to raise your hand put it right back down? Thank God for these hands. Anybody else? I'm not saying you're lost. You just not never where you need to be with the Lord. You need to get closer to Him. Anybody else? Yes, praise God for that. Lord sees it. Praise God. Anybody else? Open your eyes a minute. I said, raise your hands. If anybody's not where they need to be with the Lord, I'm gonna raise both of mine in front of you. I ain't got no pride. I need the Lord to help me. Amen. The devil tells you don't raise your hands. I raise all of mine. I ain't exactly where I need to be with the Lord either. I need God to help me. I've not overcome this thing. I ain't nothing special. I ain't supernatural. I fail just like you do. But you've got to get to a point where you're not ashamed to raise your hand and tell God I need some help. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for this service, Lord. I thank you for speaking to our heart. It's a little tough sometimes, God, but I know you love us. I know you want to help us. You want to increase our faith. God, please, I'm going to beg first for me that you'd help me to get my mind on you. Lord, so many things. Help me get my mind on you. I don't want to be greedy this morning, but I'm going to pray for me first. Lord, in these hands that raised, and these that maybe could have raised, but the devil talked them out of it, prayed somebody think less of them, would you please touch them the same? We all need your help, God. We're all so fake most of the time. When we get around one another, we're just so fake. But if we could be real... The real us would come out. And God, if there's anybody here that's cold, that could care less about you, I might ask the same thing I asked before. I pray you take their sleep from them. Don't let them sleep. If it's me, don't let me sleep. I'll throw my hat in the ring. If I'm not where I need to be, there's anybody here that's cold and indifferent, that's backslidden on you. The book says those that are backsliders are full of themselves. Found it last night in the book of Proverbs. God, if I'm in that place or anybody else is that place, would you take our sleep from us? I'm believing you can do that. Stir a heart. God, I don't want anybody to leave this church and go to hell. I don't want to know that. I've done everything I can, Lord. I surely don't want to leave here and go to that place. And I don't have to. 
call on the Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you for this beautiful day that you've given us. I don't care if it rains all day. It's beautiful. Another day of life. Please, Father, be with those who are in the hospital. Those that are sick and shut in. Those with coming home from liver transplant, God. Those fathers that are sick here, dealing with heavy travail and trials. God, would you be with them? Strengthen us all and help us to come together under one name. Let's say his name together.